On, en fait, on leur dit, vous, on vous livre des armes, mais vous ne pouvez pas vous défendre. Donc nous, on reste exactement dans le même cadre. On pense qu'on doit leur permettre de neutraliser les sites militaires d'où sont tirés les missiles, et au fond, les sites militaires depuis lesquels l'Ukraine est agressée. In an alarming development, a senior Moscow general has issued a stark warning about NATO nations preparing for possible nuclear strikes on Russia. Vladimir Kulishov, the first deputy director of Russia's Federal Security Service and head of the Border Guard Service, outlined these escalating threats in a recent interview with RIA Novosti. NATO intelligence operations close to the Russian border are on the rise. Forces of the alliance are intensifying military training, in which they work out military scenarios against the Russian Federation, including nuclear strikes on our territory. This warning underscores Moscow's growing concerns over NATO's nuclear sharing scheme. Under this arrangement, American nuclear weapons are stored in non-nuclear nations such as Belgium, Germany, Italy and the Netherlands and also Turkey. What particularly troubles Russian officials is the involvement of these non-host nations in training exercises on how to deploy these weapons. Back in 2022, just weeks before the Ukraine conflict escalated into open hostilities, Vladimir Ermakov, the head of the non-proliferation department of the Russian Foreign Ministry, voiced similar concerns. He stated, The actions of NATO and the US are seen as direct threats to our national security. The expansion in Europe and increasing presence in Ukraine are provocative. Russia has consistently blamed NATO's expansion and its involvement in Ukraine for the ongoing crisis, viewing it as part of a US-led proxy war. The military support provided by Washington and its allies to Kyiv is seen as a dangerous escalation potentially leading to a direct war with Russia and increasing the risk of a nuclear exchange. Earlier this month, President Vladimir Putin ordered a drill to test Russia's ability to use non-strategic nuclear weapons, describing it as a reaction to hostile statements from the West. This exercise, conducted jointly with Belarus, comes as nations that donate longer-range weapons to Kyiv are considered lifting restrictions on their use against Russian targets. Kyiv has the right to defend itself and deliver strikes with arms it receives from the United Kingdom, said British Foreign Secretary David Cameron. The situation remains tense as Moscow continues to store a part of its nuclear arsenal on Belarusian territory, a move it claims is necessary to counterbalance NATO's strategy amid rising tensions. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.